a One of the things that I've always said to myself is that I will never allow the church to be the one to pay my bills. There's like a greed that comes and sometimes you miss out on opportunities because out. the figures wasn't weren't right enough Absolutely. for you. My journey has been one of trusting, having faith, knowing that my path isn't the same as everybody else's. I walk into the room and I'm crying and my husband's thinking, oh, it's a negative again. Mm -hmm. And I remember showing him the thingy and we just cried. I like do you. Know, do I need this pillow? Sometimes when I see my stomach off, oh I'm my like, god, <laughs> this girl! Oh my god, <laughs> this girl! Oh, oh god! Gosh. Wow, Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're always wondering why is the pillow here, it's, you know? <laughs> yeah, just in case. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to the Bay Chunk Show, where we inspire and educate you to live well and thrive in your faith, career, and relationships, through conversations, events, and so much more. And I am here <laughs> with the beautiful, the ever gorgeous, stunningly in pink. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> the <try>. amazing <laughs> JC Thank you for having me. We finally made it, by the way. I know. Can we say we finally made it? I think it? we've been trying to plan this. Oh, my God, guys. Forever. I don't think you understand the back and forths. The back and forth was real. It was real, but Jay, we made she's it. A, she's a busy woman, so I'll never, I'll never take offense. I was always like <laughs> going back, like JC, are we going to do this? Are we going to do this time? Okay, we're going to do this time. This time, this time. And I'm so glad that we're finally here. It took us a while. I know, oh, but it's gonna be good. Here. It's yes. gonna be good. It's gonna be yes. really good. Let me, let me grab my notes. Let me grab my notes. <laughs> JC, how are you? I'm good. You know, busy. Right. Good. Um, but just yeah, I just feel like I'm thriving at the moment. So I'm oh, really yeah. Beautiful. I, I am in a really good space. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I can't co I cannot complain at all. Love to see it, yeah. love to hear How it. How are you? I'm good. It's a very interesting season of my life right I now. Can't imagine. I feel like I have a bogey, so I'm just gonna check oh. quickly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know? <laughs> just as I have a bogey. I haven't, you heard know that them I haven't heard that since secondary school. That's hilarious. Maybe but it's, it's a very interesting season in my life. Mm -hmm. So I'm now a nine to fiver. Ah! I know. I've been a nine to fiver for about two years, but like I got like a job job. When did it hit you that you were like, you know what? I'm going to do nine to five. Um, I feel like the pandemic might have solidified it for me. Okay, okay. In a sense okay. of, I'd been freelance, mm. fully freelance, 2019. Yeah, you just had been. Just yeah, entering yeah, yeah. 2020. Mm. And then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then having to rely on like government funding yes, yeah. and things. And interestingly enough, the beginning of 2020, God told me get a job. Oh. I was like, no, this can't be the voice of God. It's like, get thee behind me, say mm. type of thing. There's moments. And you know what now happened? <laughs> Bare people that were employed got put on furlough. So in that sense mm. they had like an income coming in but they yeah. could also like that's where a lot of businesses boomed yeah yeah and yeah, this yeah. that the other yeah. but i remember at that time i was trying to figure out okay how do i survive mm. you know i was doing videography no mm. events were going on at the time mm -hmm. so i think after that i was like hmm maybe i need to just find a bit of stability yeah, yeah. still do I the creativity like don't I give up you. on it kind yeah. of thing yeah but yeah I hear you. Yeah. I think I think I think COVID changed a lot of things for a lot of people. Yeah. Um I think I think do you know I think um it's interesting because nine to five isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's not. And I think if people see it as an extra stream of income, you will actually get over yourself. 
get over yourself. Like, you would actually get over yourself and actually be able to go and find yourself Creatives. a job. Like, it's not a bad thing to we're have not a humble. nine to five. We're, we're, not, we're listen, not humble. Like, we're not humble. Some of you will be like, yeah, I need to do this full time. And amen, yes. glory be to God. Mm. But some of you know that you're not called to full time being a creative that it's a part-time thing for now mm. and you're just sitting at home Monday to Friday doing nothing really and truly because you're not even consistent in the creative side so it's like why don't you just allow yourself to be busy nine to five and yeah. then do what you need to do but yeah. I guess I guess we are we are so on our high horse that mm. like I don't know I don't see I've never seen nine to five as a bad thing mm. and I've never seen it also as an obstacle mm. for God to still not use me mm. you know like I feel like there were other things that could stop me such as my procrastination such as my mind such as me not being focused my nine to five isn't one and especially if you find a nine to five that suits your personality mm. Because they're actually creative jobs. Literally, there are creative, are creative, stable creative. jobs. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So if you find a nine to five that yeah. suits you, that suits your lifestyle, mm. then you doing a nine to five and then being a creative almost then becomes hand in hand because mm-hmm, you're mm-hmm. not going to see your nine to five as a grueling job. Do you know what's interesting as well? I feel like I'm a better steward of my time Absolutely. now. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> When I was fully freelance, there were times when I would just be sleeping. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, right? There were some times on my nine to five where yeah. I'm, I have nothing to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still getting paid. Yeah. So I'm not complaining. Yeah. You know, like mm. there are some nine to fives that would just won't stress your life. Yeah. They it just won't stress your life. It doesn't have life. to be a stressful life. Doesn't have to be a stress- it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going into the finance world, so you guys can keep that. Like you can the keep hustle. that. You can keep that hustle, hustle. that hustle and bustle. <laughs> you want to get off at Liverpool Street. <laughs> That's Canary. You know what I mean? Canary Wolf, you want to get on that Jubilee line, that central <laughs> line. Up. God bless you. Amen, hallelujah. But as for me and my household, mm. one thing I said to God was, especially during the COVID, uh, after COVID, is that mm. God, if I'm going to do this worship thing alongside my ministry and my mm. home, it has to be remote. Yeah. And it has to give me the freedom to be able to travel when I need to travel. Yes. And I have that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm still getting paid. Mm-hmm, so I'm mm-hmm. just like... Love it. There's ways around these things, There's you ways know, around especially it. the environment. This is way off topic, by the way, but mm. <laughs> I just love where it's flowing. The environment that you find yourself in. Absolutely. So, yeah. for example, there's like arguments and debates. You know, this whole Jackpa mm. movement oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's debates around in Nigeria, like you can sustain yourself mm-hmm. as a freelancer because the cost of living isn't that, isn't that high. It's, yeah, yeah. Whereas in this yeah. country. Yeah, yeah. It's a completely when those different bills, bucket. Listen, when they, when they slap when you, you open the envelope. Like you will go and find a job. <laughs> hey. So some environments don't favor, yeah. especially if mm. it's like three things have to be in it for me now. Mm. So there's there's passion, yeah, yeah. there's purpose, yeah. and there's profit. Absolutely. The profits, Ooh. I wasn't too keyed into yeah, 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 yeah. when I initially started. Yeah. It was very like, la-di-da, yeah, yeah. let's make it happen, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to blow up. We, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly and it's like okay so now that i'm like yeah yeah when when is this happening god like, when is uh, uh, what's her name there's a lady that i'm thinking of right now um she has a beautiful voice she talks like this babies hi sugar how you do even when she's reading oh, you oh uh she just recently blew she has afro hair as well i'm trying to think who you're thinking about I think she blew in her fifties or something. Oh, 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 Maybe oh, oh, I'm aging oh. her a bit. I think I think I know who you're talking about. You know the one, right? She's an I think American I know lady. Yeah, I think I think I know who you're talking about. She's vegan. Oh God, Tabitha tab, 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 Brown. Mm, she that's used to, it. She used to do Uber, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, she did. Sometimes she find, did. find yourself doing something. Listen. Until it gets there. Idle hands. You know? Idle hands will keep you idle, bro. Yeah. 
because mm, anyway <laughs> anyway that's my season right now and i'm embracing it and i, I, I love that for i feel you. like i'm really embracing it I, I like you said i see it as, a, as an extra source of income yeah, yeah. i see it as something that can, i can leverage mm-hmm. and it's not something i completely hate like yeah. there's two sides mm-hmm. to me mm-hmm. there's media and there's medicine yeah yeah and for a while i felt like because i had this passion for media yeah that means that meant that i had to let go of the medicine yeah, yeah. but now it's like i'm finding a way that they to can actually the m&m you know? <laughs> m&m m and M&M. M&M. i love it i get everywhere in pink as well <laughs> love it anyway that was way of course but <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys, thank and you. welcome, beautiful JC. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining no, me today. You. So, how the show goes, mm-hmm. we have a segment called Chit Chat with Bo. Okay. Where we have like a debate. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so we ask a question to you guys at home as well. I'm mm-hmm. going to ask JC, and then she's going to let me know her thoughts okay. Okay. on it as well. Okay. <laughs> So my question today, the question of the week to you guys at home as well is, should gospel artists or ministers charge for ministration? Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> oh, here Lord, we go here, again. We go. here we go. You know what? I, mm. Mm. So I actually don't have an issue with people charging. Okay. I don't, I don't have an issue with it at all. Mm. And I think the reason being is... Um, Honor looks different for a lot of people. Mm. And so honor for some people may be monetary. Honor for some people may be respect. Honor for some people may be open a door for me. Um, But in terms of charging, one of the things that I've always said to myself is that I will never allow the church to be the one to pay my bills. Mm. Like the church is not the sole breadwinner for my house. Um, Because I don't believe the church is for that, if that makes sense. However... Um, I do believe in honoring and um, respecting gifts. And so, whereas you may not charge, I do expect a church to give an honorarium. Okay. And I do expect a church to bless the person who has come to bless the house. Mm, um, I love the way you put that. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I think that it, it's 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 the same it's the same concept as if I if I was to contract or someone called me for a contract, I don't know, in Spain, mm-hmm. they're going to compensate for my time. Yeah. Um, they're going to compensate for my time. They're going to compensate for my travel. Yeah. They're going to do all of that stuff. And I, I won't necessarily have to ask. Yeah. I think this debate of whether gospel artists or ministers should charge shouldn't really be a debate. It should be more the church should be honoring the gifts and the talents that they are asking to come to bless the house mm. and there's this thing that my church always say you know if someone's blessed you be a blessed um, if you've been blessed be a blessing and i i think this i think the exact same concept mm. um i don't think is and i don't think there's anything wrong in charging if you do charge especially um because i know that a lot of ministers are full-time in this and so they probably will have a charging package Mm. but because i have my nine to five Mm. um it's not necessarily a a thing for me but i will expect an honorarium Mm. um so what if what if what if you go to minister somewhere they don't give you an honorarium what happens so right now i have a thing in place where um um it's almost you will know that an honorarium is expected <laughs> you will know <laughs> that you you kind of know that an honorarium is expected yeah. um mm. and i think i think i would like to think that i've built myself up enough in this industry or in this in in especially in this uk mm. for people to not think oh we can't no 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 yeah like it's not a i i, I ha- i've spent hours and hours on my skill, I've spent hours right. and hours um, ensuring that um, I'm praying for your event and I'm doing that. And I'm not saying that you blessing me with an honorarium stops me from praying from your event, mm. but it um, it just goes to show that you appreciate me as a person. Yeah, and the gift. And the gift. And the gift. And the gift. So when I, I would say that what, what I do is, it's a calling. Mm. It's a passion. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I would say there's, there's also an element of ministry mm-hmm. in there. I don't always minister, so to speak, yeah, yeah. in the church. Mm. Sometimes I will. Mm. And I remember when I first, like, began to... When I first 
they started inviting me to places to come and speak, mm. especially in churches. And I would speak to my friend at the time and he was really against it. Oh, really? And yeah, he was really oh. against it. And he was saying that, oh, we shouldn't be charging. I don't know whether he also agrees with the honorarium side, mm. but I know that his thing was you don't state an amount. Because mm-hmm. that's, with me, like I said, I would get invited to like normal events and mm. then I'd also get invited to church. Mm, mm, mm. And I was trying to apply the same principle. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. there's also a scripture. I don't know if I'm saying it out of turn. Mm. Um, something about if you, if you, it's basically saying that if you do gos- uh, the ministry full time, that you should live by the, by the, by by the, the gospel book. as mm-hmm, well, by mm-hmm. the ministry yeah, as yeah, well. So yeah, like yeah. there should be like, your earnings yeah, yeah, from yeah. there like yeah, yeah. Past, some pastors get paid oh yeah absolutely for, for like yeah, a monthly salary yeah, absolutely for from their pastoring church. the church yeah, that's yeah. a full time yeah, thing yeah, yeah. so that they can be mm-hmm. you know they have time to study the word because mm-hmm. you know you mm-hmm. can tell when like a pastor's he's got a side hustle yeah you can so you, tell you can tell like yeah, he's not yeah, he's yeah, not yeah, fully yeah, 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 yeah. you know yeah. the it wasn't yeah, meshing yeah, type yeah. of thing <laughs> The word didn't hit it this wasn't. Week. It wasn't. <laughs> you know. Of course, the, that, the gospel yeah. is very simple, but you can always yeah. tell when it's a bit distru- disjointed, Absolutely. and Absolutely. that's sometimes because of things that are pulling you mm. in different. You know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So sometimes, if you want the best of that minister, then just take care. You of his know, needs. you yeah. take you take care of their needs. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that was my principle mm. in a sense mm. of I would say oh, this is my rate. Yeah, and yeah. I would bring that to the church as well. Yeah. But I think over time, I, be- I became convicted about mm-hmm. it. Mm. So I remember the last church that I ministered in, mm. they um, they asked me what my rate was. And I said, bless me with anything. Yeah. That I'm not going to say yeah, an yeah. amount. Yeah. And, you know, they did give me an, they, an honorarium, mm. so mm. to speak. Mm. But it wasn't something that I said a specific said yeah, amount. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I recently came across a video um do you know him yeah, yeah, yeah. i love yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. not him but, but yeah. love his yeah, work his ministry, ministry. Yeah, he's, yeah he's really yeah. amazing mm. and somebody asked him this, a similar question as mm. well and he said that you know it's your personal no, conviction conviction mm-hmm. like he personally doesn't charge mm-hmm. but again he didn't mention whether they would bless him but of course he like has somebody like, like that he has his streams you know he has you know you know i feel you know what i think i think that i i think that this whole um, asking the church to, or would you put a price in place? Yeah. Sometimes for us as ministers shows the lack of stream of income we have. Whew. It's true. Because if you think about it, yeah. Um, if you don't need the church to bless you or give you an honorarium, it's fine because as far as I'm concerned, even if we take, let's say we if we took Dunsin for an, an example, mm. we know that he has Spotify, he has Apple, mm. he has YouTube, mm. you know, he's got his Instagram. Mm. Um, social media is, may or may not be paying something. Let, let's assume, we're assuming, I'm assuming here yeah. that please don't like yeah. say that I'm, but let's assume that social media is, you know, paying the way, for him to be able to live a, a particular way, for him to be doing this full time, I also think that um, I also think that I I I got to the place where I was going to churches, hmm. um, even top of last year, I was going to churches, and they would invite me to minister, and I'd be travelling far, hmm. and I'd still come home with a hundred pounds, and in my head I would be thinking, hmm. okay why Mm. you know like Mm. why Mm -hmm. and and whilst i'll whilst i'll say to some people whilst i'll say to some churches um you know what bless me with what you can um i also think there's a level of respect to bless me with what you can because i'm a mom i'm a wife um and yes i'm called but it does not mean that my time and my effort should go unnoticed if that makes sense Mm -hmm. I'm not a small 18 year old girl. Mm. So for you to bring me, I don't know, 80 miles out of my house mm. to drive back That's and forth. That's part of it as well, it's the time. It's like the, the time, you, the effort. Even the outfits you will wear. Exactly. That, it, all it, part, takes, all, it takes yeah, a lot. Yeah. And so if I'm, if I'm coming, if I'm driving two and a half hours to you mm. and then you put, an, you put something in an envelope and it's 70 pounds, in my heart I'm like, Okay, God, you know what? Whatever you need yeah, to do Yeah, you don't today, want to complain. You, you don't. Do, you want you know to what, you, embrace but it. But it, I had to then start saying a minimum amount. Okay. Because I found that a lot of churches were just 
putting 70 pounds, 100 pounds, 70 pounds, 50 pounds. And I was just like, okay, guys, I think I need to. And there's a, there's also, there's also the talk of nothing. You can never pay me my worth. But if I don't show you that, um, if I don't show you that I put value on the gifting that God has given me, mm. then, then I'm going to keep receiving yeah. All of this. Some people might argue, they say that you shouldn't put a price on the gospel. You shouldn't put a price on the gospel, but Jesus paid his life and that was his, that was his price, mm. right? So whilst he may not have used monetary to pay the price for the gospel, he still used his life. He mm. was still the only son of the father who mm. came in human flesh mm -hmm. to die for our sins, then rose on the third day, went to hell picked up the keys mm. just so that you and I can be free. The Bible says, the Bible talks about our gift making room for us, our gift, mm. you know, being being that that will open doors for people. And sometimes some of those doors are monetary doors. Some of those doors may be opportunities that we never in our life thought, but then they lead to something else, you know. Um, but I think that mm. we we have this conversation more be, more so because a lot of us as creatives haven't learned how to create an ecosystem that we won't have to rely on honorariums and yeah. charging and bookings. And I always say, and I'll even say to your friend, mm. like, okay, then if that's the case, then the next time you have an event, just tell somebody to pay what they want. Mm. In, the, in your next event, knowing yeah. full well that you've paid a thousand pounds for your venue, yeah. knowing full well that you've paid probably a thousand pounds for your video yeah. videographer, mm. all of that's going to come, all of that has to come from somewhere. Yeah. So the next time you hold an event, then ask them to pay whatever they want. Yeah. But interestingly enough, um, what's his name? Nathaniel Bassi does an event. Um, I went to the one in Manchester, mm, mm, mm. a gospel event, and it's mm. free. Yeah, yeah. But there are donations. Absolutely. So there are, there are there like... Are sponsors. There are partners. Yeah, yeah there are partners. partners sponsors. Spon yeah. They're finances. So nothing is free. It's coming, it's coming is free. from somewhere. Yeah. So be because... And, and I love, and I love that about... Uh, um, I, feel, I feel like, you know... Um, and this is another debate for a different time, like yeah. the Dunsons and the Nathaniels and, you know, they've all come here to throw free events yeah. and now everybody thinks an event should be free. Yeah. And it's like, oh well, no. Yeah. It's a, it's a years of credibility as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, people yeah, will absolutely. put their hands in their pockets for, 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 for them. Absolutely. Like straight absolutely. away. Like, absolutely. You know, ask people to sponsor an event in the UK. It's like, you know, cost hmm. of living crisis, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> the cost of living in here is a bit higher. Listen, you know, our, yeah. man, our man wrote you, like, we don't want to spend money. There's, you know, there was a recent debate about people don't know how to host people anymore. And it's like, a lot of people don't want to admit that part of that is because things are, you know, it is crunch time. Like, we are in this country, we are feeling it. We're feeling it. Like, we're, fe I'm we're feeling we're fe it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who was earning 40k last year who yeah. was living comfortably mm. is feeling He's that feeling pinch. the pinch is feeling the pinch yeah. and putting on an event even doing stuff online now is so expensive yeah. even zoom zoom um Listen, subscription costs money it, it, I was it, like it costs money to have an x amount of people in your in, in your, your event thingy. Online so it's event. like so it's like all of these things when when you see that the event is free, yeah, somebody somewhere has forked out yeah money so that it's possible for you to come for free. Yeah. Um but yeah, I mean I I don't have an issue. I yeah. say whatever your conviction is, whatever your personal preference is, yeah. go ahead and do it. Yeah. Um because at the end of the day God will still be glorified. If your heart Amen. is only in it for the money, it will yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It will show. I do think you move different when you have like different streams like Absolutely. just to round it, round it off i think yeah. even jackie jackie hill perry mm. spoke about how she's into real, real estate yeah, yeah just so that greed of ministry doesn't come mm -hmm. in because that's also very easy you know you can go full-time in whatever mm -hmm. no it doesn't even necessarily have to be in the church yeah, even yeah. with what i do yeah. hosting mm -hmm. um you know i don't do videography as much mm -hmm. anymore i do mm -hmm. more of this i use my voice a lot yeah. more these days yeah so even then there's like a greed that comes and sometimes you miss out on opportunities because out. the figures wasn't weren't right enough absolutely for you or you take on opportunities that you know actually that wasn't actually aligned exactly but i needed the money but, yeah you know so yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you, move you different. make different decisions you make different and decisions. And that comes from a place of privilege. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And I feel, I feel 
like God has blessed me enough to have wisdom mm. to have my nine to five, be mm. able to create digital products mm. and still be able to be like, you know what? Okay, the church gave me seventy pounds. It's cool. Yeah, like it's not. It's not. You're not it's not, crying. I'm it's not, not like. It's not paying my rent. You can't pay your bills that I month can pay because my, you know, the honorarium I, if wasn't I, I can high. use that money yeah. to bless somebody, somebody else. else and just be like, okay, cool. Thank you so much for yeah. that. You know, um, and that's the way that I look at it now because mm-hmm. I do have other streams of income, um, and. I think until creatives or worship ministers or ministers in itself begin to create an ecosystem around them, this topic will just become mm. null and void. But too many people are hung on that low apple fruit of the church must pay me, the church must pay me, or yeah. I can't pay this bill. There's then debates pay. about drummers <sighs> in, the lo- in the home churches versus going to other churches and being paid. Mm. And then pianists and then then the choir members are now saying look at us look at us we, we should be getting paid yes, too well, you know. we should be getting well, paid the too usher in the back. listen <laughs> usher at the back the media team you know but the thing is i always say like i think there are three things that churches need to invest their money in mm. media mm. sound and musicians yeah like for me those are three massive things that unfortunately you cannot get around it yeah if you don't have great mics if you don't have a great sound system if you don't have musicians if you don't have a media team to capture what it is that you're doing yeah i used to go to a church where (laughs) things were helpful that would just be like what's the what's the technical (laughs) technical (laughs) everyone just everyone looks at them like like and they're because they don't even know what they're doing but they're like yeah 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 scrambling Mm -hmm. trying to you know, mm-hmm. make it happen. Absolutely. But anyway, mm. our question to you guys today is, should gospel ministers, um, artists, mm-hmm. anybody in ministry really be charging churches when they go to minister? Let me know or let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Oh, crew. So we're <laughs> going to go into the next segment now. <laughs> I feel like we've had a nice catch up already. I know. But this part of the show is called Best In. Mm-hmm. And basically we get to... I love these names, by the way. Yes, thank yeah. you. Ooh. We get to talk about... It's my producer hat. Oh, okay, producer. come on I can now. never just make a segment. It has to have a name <laughs> and, a, you know, and its own title sequence. Yeah. Best In. Best In. Yeah. So it's like anything from the week that you're loving. Mm. So it can be like Best In Fashion. Best in series, best in, best in, best in, best in, best in. Best in. Oh, that's such a good one. What am I feeling at the moment? Best in, best in. Oh, I will say yeah. right now. Yeah. And nobody should judge me, but best in, I am binge watching Criminal Minds. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah, it yeah. good? My husband's a little scared. Because it's all about like... Is it, is it real life? No, 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 no. So it's like a drama. Okay. And it used to happen... I think it's just finished, like 20 seasons. But I've started it again. Yeah. And oh my God, like one of my favourite shows Ooh. ever. Um, but yeah, that's best in alongside The Chosen. I don't know if you've seen The Chosen. I've heard of it. Oh God. And I've seen it on it. Netflix. It keeps getting suggested. So you maybe I should watch give it, it a... Watch it. I'm just waiting watch. for... I don't think season four is out on Netflix yet, but... Yeah. Go watch it. Okay. Go watch. Chosen. It. Nice. It's the about chosen. price, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go watch it. Ah. I'm going to check it out. So my first best thing is best in getting my life together. Yeah, yeah. By the grace and through the help of God, mm-hmm. my second best in is, I mean, look at where we're in right now. Okay, so let me say something, guys. <laughs> I remember when Mo was in a different location. Ooh. Like deep. I can't even remember. I can't remember. Where is that? I think, I think it. Either it was your parents' house or... Oh, you it came was to my house, isn't deep, it? Deep yeah, somewhere. Yeah, 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 Sussex. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she took me deep. Yeah, deep, yeah, yeah. Deep. And just to see the growth, mm. I walked in here and I thought, oh, yeah. three cameras, yeah. two podcast yeah. mics. I said, my God, we've upgraded. We've upgraded. By the grace, this just happened... <laughs> Let me tell you about this mics first of all. I love it. So mini testimony behind it. Mm. I was looking at studios, mm-hmm. podcast studios. Yeah. I have my road 
mics yeah, that yeah, you guys yeah, can yeah. see that we normally use. I have those and I invested in that last year mm. and it was all well and good. I'm just trying to make sure that you guys can hear me well <laughs> on the new mic. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> So I was looking at studios, I was like, oh, I really want to improve the podcast, mm. but I feel like, you know, the audio is okay, I, w- I want it to be better, so I was yeah. like, let me look at um, podcast studios, mm. I was doing the maths, I reached out to some that I felt like matched the vibe of yeah. what I was going, you know, yeah, like, yeah. lots of podcast studios, I feel like they're very dark and mm-hmm. dull, they have a very masculine yeah. feel, Absolutely. not very airy-fairy. Yeah, I thought it was just me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I really mm. wanted something airy-fairy. Mm. I found one or two that were like, not perfect, but nearly there. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to invest in those. Yeah, yeah. And then I calculated, okay, if I invest in these studios versus investing in mics, what's the, like, the cost? Yeah. So how many sessions would it take for me to get new mics? New mics, is what right, I was, right. I'm very big on ownership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, as yeah. opposed to renting, Just renting out, thing out and yeah. forking out money. Yeah. Um, and randomly, these were a gift. <gasps> no these way. These were a gift. I came back home. My no husband had set way. up set up the what you're seeing right now and we got a new camera as well. <sighs> and of course I had little bits that I, I was slowly, slowly like if you guys noticed from the beginning of this season, mm. I was adding small bits. Initially I just had maybe that or that. We were even mm. on the other side of the room. Uh, I was adding little decorative pieces as it was going. <sighs> And it's like, there was one last piece to kind of make it all come together. Mm. This space had um, my treadmill and I just wasn't feeling inspired. Mm. Like in March, I, di- I didn't record in March. Thankfully, I'd recorded so much in February that it covered March. March. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, okay, so I've got JC come in. I've got a couple of other people come mm. in to record. I'm not feeling this space, yeah, yeah. you know? And God just said, okay, just try moving the treadmill. Mm. So I moved it to the other side. I moved this. I've had this for years. Yeah. Those of you that know. This follows you, right? <laughs> yeah. This is full of you. <laughs> you know what I'm kidding <laughs> Yeah, I moved it. I wasn't even thinking it was going to be part of my new set, but somehow, oh. somehow, I moved it, and I stood, you know, like behind. I was like, Ooh. okay, I'm feeling this now. I'm feeling this. It's now. a beautiful space, guys. Thank it you really. So much. I'm actually really proud of you. This is Thank actually, you. yeah. Thank ah, you. even these I beautiful like chairs. Thank I'm you like, so yes, much. Thank you. So Thank you. So good. our creative room is coming together. It's coming together really beautifully. No, and it's course, lovely. At some point, I'll give you guys a tour of how it's looking. Mm. But that's my second no, best lovely. in best in studio space content best room. Best in. I love this. Everything Honestly, is coming together. By it's coming support. together. It is coming together. Yes, and I wonder, you know, host my guests well as well. I That's another thing, yeah. like bringing them into a nice mm. space. It's a nice, comfortable experience yeah. for yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. You know, I hear you. I hear you, and I love that. And trust me, we are comfortable. Yes. Yeah, we are very, very comfortable. And a nice experience for you guys at home exactly. as well. Exactly. Visually, visually, you know, audibly, audibly. It's yeah. I was going to say just... audibly. Eh, <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to think. thank God audible thank was in my God, head. Thank God you, you dropped it fast. I was thinking, I was thinking, well, oh, good, good. <laughs> we thank God. Hey. We thank God. No, good is God is good. Is honestly, oh no, this is incredible, guys. Honestly, yeah. Thank you. Definitely thank best you. in a good best in. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. A best in series, best in getting my life together yep. with the help of God, and best in studio. What's series. your best in? Yeah, let us know. Actually, I've never actually asked them. Yeah, That's what's good. your best? What's in? your best in for the week? Yeah. Your favorite thing. Mm-hmm. And we have JC May the building. I'm trying to move. So we're going into deeper with Mo now, <sighs> where we're gonna get to know you a bit better. This okay. is where I need my phone now because <laughs> I've I've written all my lovely questions for you. <laughs> and I know you're gonna answer them to the best of your my ability. ability. Yes. Me and JC go way back. Way back. We go way back. When did we meet? God, that's a good question. It must have been before 2019. Absolutely before 2019. I, I, I feel like I want to say even either I I had just had my daughter or I hadn't had my daughter yet. Do you know what? That's where we met. At your daughter's first birthday. First, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 2018. Do you know? Oh, yeah. Full circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yes. It's gonna make sense in a minute. This is full circle. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. No way. Yeah, that's where we met. I just started videography at that time. No. And new way. media productions. Yeah, that's where we met. And I was working with Shut your up. friend. Yeah. I was working with your friend. Yes. She yeah. needed a videographer yes. for her business. Yes. So it wasn't even like a proper booking. Yeah, it, it was wasn't. just yeah. come and just grab pictures of me at work. So mm-hmm. I was grabbing pictures of Shola yeah, at work. Yeah, yeah. And then I met JC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she took my contact details. I remember yeah. <laughs> I remember Miss JC. I think, who is this woman? <laughs> so full of energy. <sighs> JC running up and down. Listen. But calm as well. Like it was like, you know, I was I was just get stepping into my christian womanhood mm. if that makes sense mm. so i was in that se- season of my life where i was observing women yeah yeah so trust me i was observing oh, you wow. <laughs> God, i was observing Jesus. you and i was like who is this like you know and we got to sp- uh, talking yeah, and then did. we worked on a couple of projects mm-hmm, together mm-hmm. And this woman is a is a beacon of excellence. That's just one thing I will I will say about you right there. Jesus, like amen I know that. there are projects that we worked on that never made the light of day. But because it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's so trial and error. <laughs> because JC is somebody that yeah. she wants to do things well. Mm, you know, mm, it is a mm, calling and mm. you know She's a beautiful singer, but she also wants to package it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me ask you these questions. Yeah, go, go, go. So, oh, my God. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, first of all, mm-hmm. talk to me a little bit about your journey as a minister, singer, so far. So far. Mm. Wow. So, um, I want to say I've been on this journey for the past eight to nine years. Mm. And it has been one roller coaster mm. of a ride, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, mm. physically, mm. <laughs> mm. Um, financially, all the leads that you can think of. Yeah. It's it's been all the leads that you can think of. It it's been that. Mm. Um, but one thing that I've always been rest assured in is that God has called me to this, and so. Um, my journey has been one of trial and error, trusting, having faith, knowing that my path isn't the same as everybody else's, understanding that my calling is different, understanding that my anointing is different, understanding that I'm set apart for a particular reason, mm. um, understanding that God has placed this this level of um, excellence in me because he wants to show people that he's an excellent God. Mm. Um, And with that comes massive responsibility that you sometimes are not ready for. Um, And so this journey didn't start today. It's, it's been years in the making since Mm. I was 10 years old, Um, going in and out through church, leading worship, um, being a pastor's child, Mm. um, coming out of church, coming back into church, coming out of church, coming back into church, getting married, mm. um, traveling up and down, BVing for different people. It has been, it has been such a journey of um, discovery. Um, and ministry is not full of faint hearted. Mm. It really isn't. And I think, you know, we think about ministry as, you know, oh my God, my name is on it and oh my God, no, no, no. But ministry is service. It's a, it's, a, it's a serving to the people. And I have to always remember that, um, which is interesting for me because I've always been the kind of person that like none of my music that's out will ever have my face on it. Mm. Because I never want my face to be the center of- That's interesting. Of, I didn't notice that. Julie. Yeah, it would mm. never have my face on it. Mm. It will never ever have my face on it. Um, not because I don't, not because I think it's bad for anybody else to have their face on it, but just my personal conviction is: if I'm doing this for God or if I'm serving the people, then my face doesn't need to be 
the thing that draws people in. Let mm. it be the music. Let it be the artwork. Let the artwork speak to you. Mm. Let it translate something to you. And so ministry mm. has always been one of service, but hard service because when I when I need to be served, it's difficult for me to take the service. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a journey. Mm, it's the journey. <laughs> it's the journey. But I'm still. Here. But I'm still here. <laughs> still, I'm still here, still pushing. Mm, yeah, still mm, pushing. Mm. Still pushing. But yeah. What's been your, your favorite moment so far in ministry? What's been my favorite moment so far mm. in ministry? Oh, there's a couple of moments. Mm. Um, but I would say my favorite moment, my number one favorite moment, which will stay there until something tops it, is mm. um being able to serve um, Thy Kingdom Come with Nathaniel Bassey, oh, Victoria yeah. Renze, and Tosin. I think I was there when you ministered. Oh my God. Yeah, like, I was there. That whole Thy Kingdom Come mm-hmm, mm-hmm. changed my life. Mm. Changed my life. Yeah. Um, just the way that they work, the way that they think, the mm. way that they are. Mm. Like, there's no way you can be in the presence of those three and something not rub off on you. Mm, mm, um, mm. So that definitely for me is a highlight, is being able to be V for them. Um, but also I would say the other highlight for me is, is finally being able to travel and minister, mm. I think. Um, it's taken me oh, a long yeah, time to get Ghana. here. Yeah. Oh, I was so proud. Trust me, I'm always <laughs> watching you, JC. Like, wow. <laughs> like, I was, yeah, yeah, like that. And then, you know, being able to minister in America. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, God taught me this year and these last, these last 12 months of how being patient you will get yours. You just have to be patient. Mm. You just have to be patient. And you're so brilliant. Like, oh, man. I, I'm, I'm very biased, mm. but I'm sure <laughs> those of you that, you know, have been blessed through Jace's ministry. Oh, man. We know that the gifting on this woman's life. Ah, I remember your concert in oh, 20, yeah, 2018 course, yeah. or 2019. Beginning of the year. It was mm. the beginning of the year. Yeah. And this is the amazing thing about me being a videographer. I was so blessed to go to different events mm-hmm. that would then bless me. Mm-hmm. So I'd be capturing the event, but mm-hmm. I would also be getting encounters. Mm. So I remember, oh my gosh, it was um, King of My Heart. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was the bit where you were like, you're never gonna let... Ooh! And the way JC sings, <laughs> it's not It's not what... I'm sorry, I, I'm making you shy or whatever. <laughs> But it needs to be said. Anybody that's been under JC's ministrations knows that she does not sing it as the melody is. Mm, yeah. I don't know why I do that though, but yeah. It's I like her, it's a it's an anointing. It's a I hear you. It's an encounter. I hear. You. I hear. You. And I remember when you were practicing as well mm, for that event mm. and you were like, it's very easy to sing. Uh, songs like what's what's the word? Uh, you are Alpha, mm-hmm. and everyone goes crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, literally yeah. said that it's very easy to sing those yeah, songs, yeah, yeah, yeah. but actually, what is God trying to communicate? Yeah, in those moments. So I've been behind in the scenes, in- y'all. <laughs> so I know what goes through her mind. Ah. Of course, it's evolved, but I remember yeah. back then that was a big thing for you. You were like, you're not just going to sing the popular songs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You wanted to sing what heaven mm-hmm, was singing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it shows. It's always been my desire. Always been my desire. Still till today, my mm, desire. It's beautiful. Yeah. So my next question to you is that you actually used to do circular music. Yeah. <laughs> not for long, though. Not like it was profane or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But like, if you go through like your... I don't know whether you still use that YouTube channel... When I first... I don't, you know. You don't? No. And I'm still trying to f- figure out how I can get it taken down because I'm just like, <laughs> I don't use this. How, yeah, and I'm like, oh my God, it's I need like to get rid of this. Like, pop on. I'm just like, oh my God. So why the switch? Um, What interested you about circular music initially? Because secular isn't necessarily bad. No, you know, it's There is not. this whole debate, secular versus sacred. Mm, mm. It wasn't like profane music, like I said. It yeah. wasn't like dirty lyrics mm, or anything mm. like that, but it was secular. So yeah, yeah. why did you switch and like never go back? Do you know what? I think, not even I think, 
at the time when I was doing that, I was really just trying to find my voice. Mm. It wasn't anything deep for me. It was more like trying to see, do I fit in here? Is this something that I want to pursue? Um, Using wisdom to make calculated decisions, if that makes sense. Mm. To, excuse me, know if this is the lifestyle that I want to do Mm. or want to go down. Mm. Having studied other people in that kind of sector, um, understanding the lifestyle that they probably would have gone through and stuff. Um, and yeah, I do join, I do enjoy R&B. Oh my mm. God. I, till today, I still blast it, right? Mm. But for whatever reason, um, I was just never comfortable. I was just never comfortable. I was never all the way there. And I think a lot of it for me also was insecurity. Um insecurity about the way I looked, insecurity about my voice, insecurity Mm. about how I would come across, insecurity about, oh God, will they expect me to wear this and wear this? I'm not showing this, I'm not showing that. Um, And then you just kind of, you kind of just, I just kind of got to the point where I was like, okay, God, where is it that you need me to be? Because I believe that God has called some people into the secular world and I believe that God has called some into if you call it the sacred world the sacred world Mm. um and there's nothing wrong with being in both Mm. but i believe that um there are people in the sacred world that still need rescuing as well and so um it was just a conversation between me and god and saying okay god where do you want me to be and if you want me to be in a particular world Mm. um or on a particular path then just show me like just literally show me Mm -hmm. let the desire for this particular path just die Mm. you know those prayers that you pray when you're Mm. like lord if this if this man is not meant to be part of my life remove him him." and then (laughs) within 2.5 hours that was literally the same prayer Mm. literally Mm. the same prayer and god Mm. was like I want you here and so um and then and then maybe part of me was just like Mm. I don't think I'll be able to do this so Mm. maybe the gospel route is easier Mm. um and that's just me just being honest with myself back then Mm. um because I knew the church yeah knew it like the back of my hand Mm. pastor child literally I I knew the church I knew Mm. what they liked I knew what they Hmm. would take I knew if I offered them X, Y, and Z, cool, I'm good. So it's, it was easier for me to kind of navigate. But then one day God said, stop using my church as a yo-yo. And I said, okay. I said, okay, Lord. And um, yeah, I've just been here ever since. Hmm. Yeah. Do you ever miss it? No. Mm. I don't. I don't even think about it. And that was cool. You were quick with no, it as I well. don't. I don't. <laughs> because I don't. There's, I don't. Honestly, don't. That's beautiful, mm. though. Um, you you were reminding me of, of a scripture. There's a, there's no temptation that's overtaken a man mm-hmm. that is not new or something like that. And then it also says that God will always provide a, a way of es- es- escape mm-hmm. from it. Um, and that prayer you prayed about God, wherever you want me to be, make my desire mm-hmm. kind of align yeah, yeah, yeah. naturally yeah. In, in that way. In that way. In mm. that way. And sometimes we have to pray those prayers. We have to. We have to. Because our natural man is not ready. Listen, the Bible says that the the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh. Mm. Yeah, the no, flesh. You know, that's good. <laughs> reminds me of, you know, the, there's a guy that just recently announced his, engage, his engagement. I don't know whether they're married yet. He's a proper fire. Oh, prayer yeah, guy. yeah. Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Mr. Sunday. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Mr. Sunday. Sunday. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that scripture being thrown around. Listen. Because, you know, hmm, the spirit really is like, willing, yeah, but, but the, the flesh, flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. So sometimes your spirit has to lead. And you, you have to take your spirit there. Absolutely. And that's the power of prayer. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, we always we have this saying of, you know, you can, you can, you can bring the horse to the water but you can't force it to drink in this case you have to force your flesh to drink Mm. in this case you have to Mm. drag your flesh along and it has to drink Mm. because if you allow it to not drink then your flesh will make decisions for you that will end up will end you up in timpaktu when Mm. god wants you in ghana or god Mm. needs you in another place oh don't trigger me right now (laughs) Don't trigger me right now. Anybody that's come on this show this season knows why that is triggering for me. <laughs> yes, 
know that will go. Uh, Just listen. make a way for me. Yes, Lord. This this show marks that prayer point. Yes, Lord. Mm. Listen, I hear you. Mm. I hear you. Mm. Mm. You mentioned BVN for mm. like different like was it artists yeah, or yeah. just ministers? Yeah. Minister, yeah, so yeah. I didn't actually see that that side. I got to know you as an independent yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, minister. Mm-hmm. So I I I BV'd for years mm. before I was independent. Um and I used to BV specifically for um um a minister called Evan T. Evan. Okay. Love him till today. Mm. Um and he he is the reason you guys see JC May. Because um, I'll never forget the day um, where I can't remember if it was we were in House in the Rock or one of our ministrations, mm. and he just turned and he just gave me the mic, hmm. and I remember being like, oh, yeah, sing. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, mm. Jesus," because I was so content mm. singing behind him, serving him, all of that stuff, and it helped that we used to live in the same town. So every time we go for ministrations, we would roll together. I would mm. either go pick him up or he'd come and pick me up, and we'd roll together. Mm. Um, but just this one day, no warning, no nothing. Mm. He just turned around and said, JC. I said, yeah, yeah, in my heart. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But serving him mm. opened up so many other doors for me. Mm. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm such a big um, advocate for people serving. Don't just be so independently focused that you forget to serve your fellow man because there is something so beautiful in serving there is a there is there is a nurturing and an anointing and a covering mm, covering that comes with mm. serving somebody mm-hmm. um that has not only gone ahead of you but that can see further than you mm. um and erin t erin was that for me erin mm. t erin till this day is still that for me um and so i will always honor him always 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 honor him mm. and so so yeah, he he is he he. Well, if I go further further back, mm. I did BV once upon a time for Diabello. Okay. And that was ages ago. Mm. Um, and then that stopped, and then it was Erin where I found my home. Um, and yeah, I I am so grateful for his life. Wow. So grateful for his life. Well, thank God family. for good mentors. I'm will, telling you, listen, you drag that thing and out drag. Of you. Like, I, as you know, if like, he literally yeah, dragged that thing Yeah, because you know sometimes you're like, oh, I don't, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you said, you're comfortable. I was comfortable. I was scenes, content. But he was like, I was content. Now is the time. Con- I said content, as in to the point where. After he had done that, I wanted to turn around and say to him, don't ever do that again. Mm. I'm fine where I am. Mm. But clearly God had other plans. But isn't it interesting that sometimes our next level comes out of content? Oh, absolutely. Oh, oof. God, don't you even. You know, when you're finally like, don't I'm, trigger I'm, me. I'm, I'm happy where I am. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. okay. Yeah. Genuinely happy. Genuinely sometimes happy. Sometimes we're faking it like, oh, no, thank you, Jesus. I I'm was okay. genuinely yeah. happy. Mm. Mm. Genuinely happy singing my soprano genuinely happy blending with Candice and Glenn and all of us who was singing for um, ATA with the team. We just had a, such a beautiful team. Mm. And to see now all of us gone off and do our be- own beautiful things. And it's just, yeah, it's, he was, he was, he was pivotal. He's pivotal mm. in my ministry. And it's interesting because as you're speaking, I'm reminded of even Jesus's ministry. Mm. I didn't think this episode was going to be this deep, but <laughs> I'm reminded of Jesus's ministry and the fact that he was, essentially their mentor the yeah, disciples yeah, yeah. yeah and then he yeah. sent them forth. he sent them forth you know but they had to stay under his ministry first mm-hmm. not even with a promise because mm-hmm. he didn't say he didn't recruit them and say oh i'm going to make you the first Ye- apostles yeah no, or whatever no, no. it may be it was no. you know leave what you're doing yeah. and follow me and follow me that was the instruction yeah yeah you know, and then yeah. I will make you fishers of men yeah. but, you know what you're doing on a day to day but he didn't tell them the future yeah yeah he didn't at all he didn't. And I think everybody in their life has that one person. Um, if you're aligned correctly, that will be like, it's time. Mm. You've sat under me for too long. It's time to mm. go. And those are the people that are not insecure. Those are the people that are mm. very secure in their calling. Yeah. Very, very grounded in the God that they know and understand that is able to say, 
you're gonna do greater things than I am. Mm, and that's okay. Go, see, and it's okay. Yeah, because it's okay. Because you want your children. You Absolutely. Know, you say parents, you, their children. You want them to do greater yeah, yeah. exploits yeah, than yeah. you have done. Absolutely. I th- remember um, Erin's wife Annabelle. She said something to me, and it's always stuck with me. And she said something. She said, "You know, I never want my kids to start again. I want my kids to stand on my shoulders." Mm. And I said, "That's good. That's good." I said, "Okay. That's good. I get it. Yeah. I completely get it." And and that's exactly what Aaron's done for me. Like he didn't hmm. want me to start again, but I literally stood on his shoulders to be able to. Which yeah. brings me on to my next question mm. about you know how you're not just a minister, mm. but in your ministry or part of your ministry now is that you also train mm. other worship leaders, yeah. worshippers, mm-hmm. worship enthusiasts. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Which is really, really yes. beautiful to see. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a big observer, especially of people that I find inspirational, mm. walking in their calling, and such as yourself. Mm. Like, we've had moments where we've we've gone to dinner one time and just spoke about things. Yeah. Like, I've called you several yeah, times yeah. about this, this, that, the yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. My calling, where I am. Mm-hmm. So, it's really beautiful, like, seeing you, like, really mm-hmm. walking fully. Mm, not God. just you as an instrument, but yeah. now you're also raising up the next generation, especially in the UK. That's mm. very new. Yeah. So, where does that passion come from to train of our... You know, um, so, you know what? That passion came from when I started... Mm there wasn't really anybody training. Okay. Um, other than, I, I I would probably say other than Noel Robinson, mm. um, who was putting on kind of like worship leader training at the time. But it, but at the time it kind of felt far away because we didn't have social media at the time. Mm. And so, well, not at the time, but we didn't, it wasn't as big as it is now. So mm. everything at that time is kind of like on Facebook. And I remember kind of sitting and saying, God, you know, if you give me this platform, I will never allow another worship leader to feel like they're alone Mm. um i will never allow a worship leader to feel like there's no information or there's no training for them out there Mm. because the reality of worship leaders is that we we get called to church they hear that you can sing they plaster mic in your hand without any form of pastoral care without Mm. any form of how is your life how are you doing how is this how is your walk walk with god Mm. You're just expected to get on and do it. Mm. And I really wanted to create a space where actually worship leaders can feel like, I can breathe. I can, I can, I can breathe. Okay, JC, I get it. We're not always going to get it right. But this is a no judgment zone. Absolutely, Mm. that's fine. Mm. And so it really came from a place of Mm. passion of wanting other worship leaders to have a home and a space and place where they can breathe, where they can grow, where they can make their mistakes mm. and nobody's going to shout at them, you know. Um, so that's where it really came from. And I think um, it's not an easy thing to do because, you know, there are there are still kind of like red tapes that you have to kind of go through because worship leaders are attached to other churches. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, you, you know, some of their pastors will be like, you know, who's this person talking to you or, Mm. you know, advising you and stuff. But before we are a worship leader in our home, in our churches, we should first be worship leaders in our homes. And if I can get you to that place where you should be, you should be leading yourself in worship at home first, Mm. going to church is going to be so much easier to do. Mm. So yeah, it just, it came from a passion of not wanting, not one worship leader left behind. That every worship leader understood their place, understood their placement, understood their sound, understood why we worship, how we worship, what we should be doing on a Sunday morning, not just for the congregation, but also for ourselves. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. That is really, really beautiful. Mm. And I've loved like seeing, seeing that side of you and you've built like an amazing community yeah, from what I can crazy. see so far. Like it's the way they engage, yeah. on ev- <sighs> you know, on all the posts yeah. and everything. I'm loving it. I mean, they're engaged. Yes. Like, they're really, really mm-hmm. engaged. And it's, it's so interesting to see how, um, you know, how God will trust you with a thousand hmm. and then he increases you hmm. just so that he can see how you would handle the thousand. Yeah. Um, I'm a very firm believer in making sure that, you know, whatever you have now, nurture that. Hmm. Like, stop looking for more. 
nurture what it is that you have because once you nurture this thing in your hand the more will come mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's inevitable it's, yeah. it's going to happen mm. will it take time absolutely because mm. this path is not for the faint-hearted yeah um but yeah no it's been it's been it's been, yeah they surprise me every single time mm. and they that's really that do. spirit of excellence that you have as mm. well like mm. which leads me on to my next question mm. so smoothly <laughs> like everything is just kind of <laughs> linking in nicely like what fuels the need for excellence like the few productions that i've been a part of or like been behind the scenes or i've witnessed it's been excellent like even um you know recently you've been doing like this new year's mm. new year's day mm. worship experience mm. and i'm just like oh like the garden studio yeah. this is so good mm. like what where does that come from that need to be excellent you know because not everybody oh, has it you either no, have it or you yeah, don't it's true. or you can nurture it you can it. nurture it i think you know what i think you know what being excellent is also part of my um it's it's great and it's it's amazing but it's also part of my um um my lack of if that makes sense because mm. um i i i am one of those believers who believe that we serve such an excellent God. Mm. So why would we give God anything less? Mm. What makes you think it's okay for you to give God mediocre Mm. when, when God blesses you, he doesn't bless you in a mediocre way. Mm. Like he blows your mind Mm. every single time he covers, Mm. he does above and beyond. And so that is my approach. That has always been my thinking. That has always been my stance is that, if God was to bless me today, he's going to do it in such a way that, oh, so Lord, you know what? Here's my little sacrifice. And I pray that it is an excellent thing onto you. And, and I carry that everywhere I go because it allows me to always think above and beyond. And so I, I, I'm never then caring about what other people are doing Mm. because in my mind I'm thinking, okay, God, is does this mm. thing meet your requirement? Yeah. Is this thing excellent in your eyes? Yeah. And if it's not, trust me, I'll know. Mm. Um but also I think that I also think that, you know, in 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 the UK, I feel like every generation should be doing better. Yeah. Um and every generation should be acquiring um a different level of excellence so that the next generation can see that actually no, you're gonna do great things. You that that's that's the mark. That's that's the that's the level that we kind of need to be at. Um, and so for me, having that that mindset is great, but it's also part of my inconsistency, where I want everything to be so excellent that sometimes some things won't come out because mm. it's not to the standard of what. And so parts of me have hin- has hindered myself from maybe being further than I should or further than I, I should be because I've overthought some stuff and I've allowed it to sit and sit and sit and sit and now the season for it has passed. Mm, and so now it's kind so, of just... That's so key, you know? It's now it's got to just sit there mm. and then the question becomes, do I redo it? Do I leave it? Do I just mm. move on, you know? Um, so whilst being excellent is amazing, it mm. can also be a bit of a um a stumbling block in my level of perfection my 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 being picky my mm, mm. my my being inconsistent mm. is because my ears are not quite mm. Mm. and i'm always thinking of the end consumer i'm always thinking what the, what the, what's what, the experience gonna what's be the experience like? going to mm. be like for this person mm. if it's not great for me yeah you know yeah. but then my husband will say but that's for you. Mm. If you keep creating stuff for you, mm. with you in mind, mm. then you're never going to put anything out. Mm. But if you create stuff for God's people in mind, yeah. then the way you think and the way you approach things are going to be completely different. And it's part of the journey as well. Absolutely. Like I think sometimes it's nice to look back. Mm-hmm. You know, like we mentioned, huh. old studio, old setup, old cameras. You know, looking back, yeah. I say, I'm like, oh, okay, that's where it came from. And like, now although I feel like this generation sometimes is not kind to kind of like humble beginnings. Oh, yeah, no. Because everything Everybody is a, wants every, to be... Yeah, everything sh- is a production now, even with our phones, you know? So we're expecting a lot in the beginner stages now, you know? Yeah, and 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 
and whilst I see it and hear it, I think a lot of people forget that um, all of these people that you've seen blown up started at the beginning. Yeah. Like, and I know, you know, even when I look at Jackie Aina's old videos, mm. or even when I look at Patricia Bright's old videos, mm. you know, when they were in with their straight hair, yeah, and they, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the leave outs. You know what I mean? The yeah. leave outs and everything. Mm. You know, you look at those old videos, but had they not put them out, they wouldn't be yeah. where they are today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I had to get to that point where God had to get me to that point where just put it out, JC. Mm, it's okay. Just close just, your eyes. Just close your just, eyes. Ooh, cringe a little, but ooh. Mm. I have so many of just those cl- moments. Yeah. Close your eyes and put it out because yeah. you don't know mm. when that piece of content mm. or when that song or when that Bible study is going to... And then you'll be thinking this. Mm. Mm. And then God will be like, yeah. Mm. Even mm. I use the foolish things. Mm. So it's, 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 um, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, this generation is very interesting. Yeah. But, you know, you, I mean, our parents used to say, if you don't hear, you'll feel, right? Yeah. Yeah. After that, you just be feeling, yeah. And then you'd be like, oh, but no, but we told you, but you yeah. just didn't want to hear it. So it's cool. <laughs> so. I want to talk to you about something that's a bit more sensitive now. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is why I mentioned that full circle mm. in terms of where I met JC and, yeah. you know, where she's at now and her testimony. Like I said, I was observing you that day. I went to like Google you. I saw one ministration that you did mm. where you spoke. I think it was like a uni. It looked like there was youth in the mm. crowd anyway. Mm. You were on a stage and you were talking about, you know, where your love for God comes from and, you know, you're not just singing the lyrics, you've you've lived it. Mm. Like when you say that God is a way maker, you've seen mm-hmm. him be a way maker mm. in your life. Mm. Um and you know, some of you may or may not know this, but JC had an infertility struggle. Mm. So talk to me about that. Like how Wow. It's a, how do you even ask that question? How how was that as somebody who's a believer? Oof. Um a minister mm-hmm. trying to keep the faith and also enco- you must have been ministering at that time mm-hmm. trying to encourage people whilst trying to encourage yourself mm-hmm. 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 and you know coming on the other side of 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 that i will say that um coming on the other side of it blows my mind every single time every mm. time i think about it i'm just like what god really but i will say that going through that was probably the toughest thing on my faith and it also also the toughest thing on my personality Mm. because and I say that because um there will be times where I'll be like you know what I don't want to be a mom I'm good Mm. and not knowing that I'm talking out of fear of maybe this all this won't happen so if I kind of guard myself now that if it doesn't happen I'm good then it won't hurt later down the line should I or should I not become a mum? Hmm. Um, but it wasn't. It's it's been such an interesting journey to have been married for as long as we had. Um, we were we were married seven years before we before Chisara came, hmm. and um, in that time, <sighs> there were a lot of tears. Hmm. There were a lot of doubts. There was a lot of God. Is this really what you want? us do you really want us to have a child or is that something that you just don't see in our future and I think once you I think my husband and I once we decided to kind of go and get ourselves checked and you know we kind of found out you know we had infertility issues Mm -hmm. it kind of brought a relief in the sense that oh okay so there's something wrong here that can be fixed it's not I'm no longer walking blind in something that I have no knowledge of or no understanding of or Mm -hmm. I can't see Mm -hmm. and then once you know God is a very God is a very interesting God because he will always tell say to us you know you know if you're if you're praying for something you know be specific and sometimes I find that as people of God we don't know what we're praying for or against we just say I bind this thing or I come Mm. against but I didn't know we had infertility issues and so I'm praying for a child, I'm praying for a child, but I don't know the cause of why we can't have a child. Mm-hmm. And 
I think once we understood the cause and why we couldn't, our prayer points now became a lot more specific. Mm. As in, you know, okay, God, in whatever means you have decided for us to have a child, show us. Um, whether it's naturally, whether it's adoption, whether it's IVF, whichever whichever path that you have decided for us to become parents, grant us the grace to be able to accomplish what it is that you need us to accomplish. And when you're ministering on stage mm. and, you know, you hear people say, oh my God, you sang that song when you ministered. And as soon as you ministered, JC, I fell pregnant. Oh, amen, wow. amen, amen. And you can't not be happy. Mm. And you can't, but but at the same time, there's a, there's a level of jealousy that sits. Because I'm just thinking, I'm the one. God. Mm. Um, when the deliver when the deliverer needs deliverance, it it's it's such it's such an it's such it's such a it's such a difficult thing to go through, mm. and it's such a hmm. it's such an isolating thing to go through. Because how do you tell your fellow people, I'm dealing with infertility? The church isn't very open. Yeah. to infertility in the first place mm. everybody expects you get married within one year you have a child off you go you know you have children back to back to back to back to back to mm. back but the reality is is that we, we're having more and more and more infertility issues mm. in the church hmm. and the church refused to address it mm. and so you know i'm singing out i'm ministering i'm coming home i'm arguing with my husband because we both want the same thing, but it's not happening for us. But other people around us, I can't, I can't tell you how many baby showers I went to and how many one-year-old birthday parties I went to and how many kids' birthday parties I went to and how many um, dedications I went to and how many people had asked me to be their god ch- godmother and I turned it down because I was just mm. like, no, I can't, I, I, I can't do this. Um, but through it all, the one thing that I, that kept me or kept us, shall I say, was the scripture that says none shall be barren. Mm. But then you hear that scripture and then immediately God is saying in everything, give thanks. So even in your barrenness, Lord, I have to give thanks. Mm. And then the Lord will say, well, I'll make ways in the wilderness. Mm. I'll make rivers in the desert. I'm like, mm, well, Lord, this mm, desert is waiting for her river. Mm, Where is it? Mm, um, and then just one day, mm, the Lord just told me, stop praying for it. Don't ask me about it anymore. Just stop praying for it. And at first I was like, would God really say something like that? Would God really ask you to not do mm, something anymore? And he literally said, stop praying for it. And I remember that year I was in back-to-back ministrations, back-to-back ministrations and somehow somehow i had forgotten the desire to have a child because that desire to have a child now became my idol and so i wasn't focused on the things that i should have been focused on because Mm. i had idolized becoming a mom and i had idolized having a child Mm. and i remember when i kind of put that to the side and i just focused on what god needed me to do i don't know just something in my body just kind of shifted Something in my body shifted, 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 shifted. And then at the end of 2016, when we got our first ever positive, I remember, um, unfortunately, someone from my husband's side of the family had just died. Mm. And my husband was like, I want us to tell our, I want us to tell our parents, my parents now because it will lighten their mood. Mm. And this was like, I think, I can't, I think this was either Christmas Eve or the 27th of December. Anyway, it was during the Christmas period. And I was like, no, 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 no. I want to wait. I want to wait. I want to wait. Hmm. I remember sh- I remember taking the test one of those mornings. And I remember crying. Wow. And I walk into the room and I'm crying. And my husband's thinking, oh, it's a negative again. And... I look at him and I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. And he's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Mm. And I remember showing him the thingy and we just cried. Like we're both on this bed and we are sobbing. <laughs> mm. We are crying our eyes out. As in, my husband is a big dude. If any, if mm. any of you see my husband, <laughs> he is a 
big dude. We cried. We cried, we cried, we cried, we cried, we cried. And in that moment, we just said, is this really happening? When I tell you, I went out that day and I bought 10 more pregnancy tests and I took every single one of them. (laughs) Listen, for a whole six weeks, I was taking a pregnancy test every single day. Because I was like, God, please don't. Um, but in that moment when your prayer is answered and you're not going anywhere because it's Christmas period, everybody's at home and you get to share it with the one person that you've been struggling with. Mm. Oh man, it hits differently. Mm. I wasn't away on holiday. I wasn't out at my mum's house. I wasn't, I was, I was with my husband. We took the test Mm. and. For the first time ever in my life, I got a positive. I was like, okay, God. You know, when you say you do things well, mm. you do things so well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So well. And then for her to be born, uh, I had said to God, God, please, because she was meant to be born on our anniversary. Okay. And I said, God, I don't want to share our anniversary. <laughs> I know I'm being a little selfish here. Yeah. But please let her come even before. Interesting, you mentioned that you and your husband were open to the way mm. that it was going to happen. Mm-mm. Because with her and her husband, God had you know, said to them that they would have a child, mm. but they just didn't know the, the, the way. way. Yeah, you know, and the theirs way. was adoption. Yeah, yeah. And you know, they managed to be open to how that happens. Like, if it doesn't happen naturally for you, fine, try IVF. Mm, There's something about seasons. Oh, your man. seasons of answered prayers. Even you, you will know. Ooh, you will know. You will know when you're in that season where, okay, <laughs> these are the things, they're coming into alignment come, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to be sensitive as well because you can easily miss it. Absolutely. Mm. It feels like my time. It feels like um, I've worked for this. Mm. I've been patient for it. It's not the thing, but sometimes it's the thing that leads to the thing. Oof, that's so good. And you won't understand that until you get to the thing. Mm-hmm. And then you realize how that thing that led to the thing mm. <laughs> leads to the thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Beautiful. Yeah. We went to church on this one, guys. Listen. <laughs> Where can we find you, JC May? Where can you find me? Find me um, on Instagram, mm. on TikTok, um, on YouTube. Although mm. I find TikTok a bit. Mm. But YouTube, mm. what else do they have? I'm not on Snapchat, guys. I'm sorry. I've left that to the Gen Zs. Mm. Um, I'm not even on X. I've left that. I've left that to the yeah, baby X boomers. Is, I don't really tweet these days. I don't tweet. I, yeah. I've left that to the baby boomers and yeah. I've left that to the Generation X. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, Instagram. I'm not even on Facebook. Mm. <laughs> but Instagram, YouTube, and t- TikTok. You can find is me. Is it all JC studios. May? Because there's got the Garden Studios. Yeah, so YouTube is the Garden Studios. And then TikTok and Instagram are both JC May. Fantastic so, yeah. stuff. Definitely follow JC. Thank you. Her ministry and all that she Thank does. Thank you for having I've me. I've personally yeah. been blessed. Oh. I know you guys have been blessed at home watching this episode. Thank you so much for thank joining you. me in the studio today. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, do like this episode if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Comment below on the things we spoke about and subscribe to this channel for more. And on Spotify, follow us on Spotify as well. Until next time, guys, peace and love. Peace and chunks. Wow, I loved that. That was so good. That was good. <laughs>